Did Google's Invisible reCAPTCHA break when you updated your Joomla site to 5.2 or higher and you still want to use Invisible reCAPTCHA from Google? Then here's a plugin for you. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 307 here on the Basic Joomla channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or even just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com and let's talk. So the core plugin in Joomla that would handle Google Invisible reCAPTCHA has been removed because as a lot of us have found, a Google's reCAPTCHA isn't always beating as many bots as it used to. I use Cloudflare Turnstile, it's what I like, but there's lots of others available. But if you want to use Invisible uh, reCAPTCHA from Google still on your Joomla 5 site, then what you want to do is pick up this plugin that Nick from Akiba has forked a version of of the old plugin that's no longer included in Joomla. So let's turn our attention to the screen, see where to get it and what to do with it. All right, of course, all these links are going to be inside the video description or on the page where you're watching this video. We're going to go over to Nick's GitHub page and to the plugin Go Capture Google. And here you can see what files are in there. You can read what this plugin does, how to use it, and some background information on it. To download it so that we can upload it, we're just going to click on download, go to the files, scroll down to the assets, and we want to download this plugin capture Google Zip. And we're going to install that plugin. Let's just save it to the computer here. I already have it there from practicing. And now that we have it, we're going to go to our Joomla site, go to system, we're going to go install extensions. And now we will just grab what we just downloaded and install it. And there we have it. Next, we need to publish it. We need to put our Google reCAPTCHA keys in. To find that, we'll go to System. And we're going to go to Extensions, Plugins. And there we have it right at the top. Capture Google Invisible reCAPTCHA. All right, so we're going to go into the plugin here. Of course, we're going to want to enable it. And we can also click toggle inline help to see what each of these do. The last three are optional. The tab index, I'm going to leave it to zero and let the browser figure it out. But what we need to do now is put our site key and our secret key in there and pick the badge placement. Let's go badge placement bottom right. But let's get the site keys. Now, to do that, as you probably have already done, if you've noticed this broke, or maybe you're just setting this up for Joomla, Go to google.com forward slash recapture and add a site. I've already done that. I've already added the basic Joomla site, but when you go to add your new site, once you're logged in, you just click here and fill in the spaces. Make sure you pick score based version three. I already have this site added in there. So I'm just going to go up to the gear and pick the settings, my label. I've got the owner's address. I've got the domains that these keys can be used on and some other options you can pick, but here's our recapture keys. I'm going to copy the site key, I'm going to go up to plugins, and I'm going to paste the site key. We'll go and copy the secret key, go back to the page here, and we're going to go control V, and that's almost everything that we need to do. The next thing and last thing we need to do is go to system global configuration to the site tab, scroll down to default capture and select Capture Google Invisible Recapture. Remember, if you somehow happen to have the old plug in there, pick the one that has Google in the name. That's the one that goes with this one that Nick has forked. Select that, save and close. And once you tell anything else in your Joomla site to use that plugin, you'll be golden and you're using Invisible Recapture again. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.